see, I will quickly take you through the basic rationale for having resolutions. Now, uh, what is uh, just flagged in the draft political resolution, but cannot be gone into in greater detail, and which needs uh, a much more uh, amplified uh, uh, pronunciation, uh, those are taken up for uh, resolutions. Apart from that, there are another set of resolutions which uh, is uh, really needed to be passed uh, in response uh, to certain very sudden abrupt developments. For example, we have just decided to have a resolution on Amit Shah's comment on the uh, imposition of Hindi and which is already uh, creating a lot of reaction. Then we have this set of uh, resolutions this time around, uh, which goes into some of the uh, important aspects of the economic uh, crisis that we are going through. Then, uh, this is something very positive that uh, uh, we are having as a background to this party congress, is the growing struggles, particularly of the peasantry and the working class. So, there are issues of uh, uh, unity of the working class and peasantry. There are issues relating to uh, tribal uh, movements, uh, relating to uh, uh, Dalit uh, uh, movements and uh, the gender question as well. Then uh, we have this whole uh, gamut of issues which is emerging from the impact of a pandemic. The world over it has happened and in India also that the destruction of the public health system and that really calls for some detailed analysis and the uh, imperative of uh, strengthening our public health system and infrastructure. So this is the broad range of issues we are covering and uh, uh, for the reasons that I have already stated. The first day itself, we adopted a resolution on price hike. As you know, the situation of uh, uh, fuel taxes, it is already uh, having very, very uh, precarious impact on uh, uh, our livelihood and on the general conditions of living. And uh, uh, this reminds us also of what is happening in neighboring Sri Lanka. I mean, uh, unless we keep reminding ourselves about uh, the, the need to provide support, but the government instead of doing that is uh, really fleecing the people on the uh, fuel tax. Then uh, there is this question of uh, uh, central legislation for uh, unorganized workers, because you see again, uh, what we have seen that uh, a sharp deterioration in the livelihood of the people. Then uh, there is <coughs> this uh, question of uh, uh, social questions, which have got intertwined with the class questions. Uh, so therefore, the whole range of uh, issues relating to gender rights, uh, tribal uh, rights, uh, Dalit rights, uh, all those issues are covered. But uh, so far as the economic uh, questions are concerned, since most of them are uh, quite, quite uh, uh, in, a, in a detailed manner covered in the draft, uh, uh, that question of privatization and uh, of the migrant labor, I mean, which was brought to the fore against during the pandemic, those we are ha having a resolution. I must also just briefly touch on the international questions. Two resolutions have been uh, adopted on, on solidarity with Palestine uh, because with uh, greater aggression and uh, greater degree of uh, support from United States uh, and its empire, uh, to what Israel is doing uh, and the militarization of the Israeli economy and uh, their links with our own government. Uh, that is very, very important. And the other question of, you see, blockades were there. 
to impose uh, imperialist foreign policies. But now, added to that is the vicious manner in which sanctions are being imposed. Therefore, these are two areas which have been covered in the revolutions.